But before that, he said, you must believe that he is God. So all you unbelievers, if you want something from God, you will not make it into the kingdom of God. You got to believe in God to make it into God, into the kingdom of God. The Bible says unbelievers, sorcerers, whoremongers, idolaters, all liars have their own part in the lake of fire. You have your own part in the lake of fire. So if you're drunk today, my advice to you is get sober. The Bible says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. All drunkards will not make it into the kingdom of God. Including this drunkard right here. You gotta be sober, my brother. He's old school, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, I got one of those. Bible said you must be sober-minded. I was once a drunkard. I used to drink a lot. Back in 2004, 2005, I used to drink a lot. But once I gave my life to Christ, I've been sober since 2005. I've been sober for 13 years, 14 years. I'm not high off of marijuana. I'm high off of Christ because I serve the Most High God. And He's the only one that can save you. He's the only one that can deliver you. He's the only one that can heal you. And He's the only one that can bless you. The Bible says that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. See, that's the problem. People don't want to seek the Lord's face. A lot of people don't want to turn from their wicked ways. If you do, if you, if you turn from your wicked ways, and if you suck, search, seek after God's face, God will forgive you from, from your sins, and he will heal your land. And right now, America needs healing. Because America has fallen away from God. But God, his hand is still stretched out still. There's going to be no more God bless America. It's going to be God less America. Because less... It's going to be less God in America because of serving other gods. The Bible says if you serve, the Bible says don't forget the Lord thy God. If you serve any other gods, you will perish. And America is not serving the almighty God. And it's because of Jesus Christ is why America is still blessed. Sodom and Gomorrah is coming upon America I'm telling you right now, saints and friends, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. Because ready or not, here he comes. And God is angry with the wicked every day. And that's why he wants to clean you up, get you sanctified, justified, so you can live for him. Because he died so you can live. Jesus took the pain and punishment for each and every one of us so you can live today. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Am I right, my brother? Right, brother. Amen. 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 Are you a believer? Right, Amen. Right now. Amen. Amen. What's your name? My name is Matthew. Matthew. Do you want a uh, yep. you want a Bible? Yep. I give you a New Testament Bible. No, no, no. I, no, I got it. You got one? Okay. Yep. All right. All right. God bless. I'm a big believer. All right. I, Amen. I just did Bible study in church this morning. Yeah. I see you got a uh, thing in your hand, though. You got to yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, God will clean you up for that. He, he, you know, clean me up. I used to smoke a lot, too. I used to smoke a lot. So, I believe that. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. All right? And I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, man. So, God is good, man. You know, no matter what, how cold the weather is, no matter how, how hot the weather is, no matter... How much stressed out you are, no matter how good your day is, God is still good all the time. And all the time, God is good.